Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing fine. So today we're going to make some very lovely berry reduction and custard desserts. So stay tuned, watch and enjoy and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lovely videos and recipes. Take care, bye. Here I've got our lovely mixed berries along with some seedless grapes. So it's a small bowl full of uh, mixed berries. Looks so lovely, isn't it? Look at them. So you can either add some sugar and crush them or you can do what I'm doing and actually turn it into a mixed berry reduction by heating it along with a little bit of sugar. And also here everyone, I've got 600 grams of custard. It's a vanilla flavor custard. Look at this combination. Yum yum. Alright, so I'm going to make the berry reduction. Just heating a pan and placed off our lovely berries into that. So our mixed berries along with some seedless grapes. And I'm also going to add in one to two tablespoons of sugar. Depends on how sweet you want it to be. So that'll help it nicely caramelize. Look at them. Okay, we're starting to bubble away. I'm also going to add in half a cup of water. That'll help it, you know, nicely cook up and caramelize faster. And it will also help these berries to become nice and soft and mushy. So using the back of the spoon, I'm just crushing the berries up see just crush it up slightly let all the juices come out so you can leave some intact and you can crush the rest or you can crush the whole thing it depends upon your personal preference what sort of a texture you like the mixed berry reduction to have but if you press it you know the flavors will come out of these berries and infuse into the syrup nicely it seriously smells so good even put this off into the blender and then put it off into the pan and heat it you'll get a more smoother berry reduction but I wanted to have some texture so that's why I'm doing it like this so as I mentioned again it's up to your personal preference you know how you want it to turn out so there are different options and you can use fresh berries for this I'm just using the Coles brand frozen mixed berries it smells so good in this kitchen right now and see that it's turning into this nice deep rich red color see it's nice deep intense color so it's slowly reducing the foods have become nice and soft see so i'm going to wait for it to become a little bit more thicker by waiting for this liquid content to evaporate a bit more but it's nicely taking shape so the berries that I've gone into this are strawberries blackberries grapes and blueberries there everyone so once it becomes nice and glazy like this I'm going to take it off the heat we don't want it to get burned or anything like that this is a nice rich lovely mixed berry syrup look at it so i've turned off the heat and we can set it aside to cool down to room temperature it's looking nice and lovely so divine so you can see it's forming like this thread sort of a consistency it tastes so lovely so rich and so amazing they will go well with the custard and once our mixed berry reduction has cooled down to room temperature, we can take two glasses and start serving it up. We've got to serve them in different layers. So first I'm going to add in a custard layer. With the help of a little funnel, you can pour it in neatly. As you can see, so it'll be nice and neat when you form the layers. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do the same with the other glass as well. And there we are. So once that's done, we're going to add in the mixed berry reduction layer using a spoon for that and gently place it on top there we are. So next we can put one more layer of the custard so i added in about two teaspoons of the mixed berry layer or i should say the mixed berry reduction so so far so good add in one more berry layer and i'm going to add in one more custard layer and one layer of berry reduction on top to top it off it's looking nice and lovely now if you want um, it to look more elaborate Using a nice long clean skewer, you can just put it in there and twirl it around until you get the desired effect that you're looking for. 
so you can see using a skewer if you just twirl it around you get these more elaborate designs on the side look at it everyone so lovely so i just went ahead and made simple designs but you can see it's so lovely it looks so floral looks like butterflies in there isn't it so it looks like it's a design of the glass and then you put some custard or turmeric milk or something in there <laughs> it's looking yellow but this is it everyone so nice lovely dessert so if you're having a romantic dinner you can end it with a sweet note and along with the infusion of berries you know what more can you ask for isn't it so it's nice and lovely and apart from that here it is everyone our lovely custard and mixed berry reduction dessert is ready subscribe to my youtube channel for more lovely videos and recipes take care enjoy bye hope all of you enjoyed this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more lovely videos and recipes take care bye